Hi WFM, welcome to today's video. As the title may have already told you, in today's video, we're gonna talk dupes. We all know what dupes are. Dupes have been on the internet for the longest time, but I've done my intense research, trials, tested different products, and brought to you formulas that are truly quite close to each other to help you save that coin. In today's video, I've pitched high-end luxurious products against drugstore mass stage products, and I think that Let's just say a lot of things come really close. You're truly gonna save some money by the end of this video. I'm tagging products and leaving links for everything over here. But before we get into the video, pause really quickly, take a good look at me and answer two questions in the comments. Please, 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 before we get started. One is which side do you think is what? And second, which side do you like more? Go ahead, I wanna read those comments. I'm counting on you. Okay, now I'm gonna assume you've done this. I'm trusting you, this is like a trust fall. Let's dive right into this video and show you what's what. Okay, so let's get started. As always, starting with skin prep. So for the luxury side of my face, did you guess correctly? I don't know, let me know in the comments below. For the luxury side of my face, I've chosen the Photo Finish Control from Smashbox. This is a primer, but it also has sunscreen complex and salicylic acid in it. The texture for this product is really nice and moisturizer-like. It goes on and makes my skin feel immediately much smoother. It does feel a little bit like silicone once it's gone all over the skin, but I actually really like that because it means my foundation is going to go on really nicely as well. Silicone is a great base to have in your primers as well as your foundations because it gives you that perfect, even smooth complexion. And on the drugstore side, to nobody's surprise, I'm about to use Verified's Step Zero. Step Zero is the kind of perfect skincare infused primer that I've grown to love. It blurs out your pores, mattifies it, it feels like moisturizer and it's perfect for all skin types. What I love about it is that we've managed to really mix skincare with makeup and give you those skincare benefits while still giving you that perfect base for your foundation. In case you're wondering why I'm holding this that doesn't have any verified branding on it whatsoever, we're currently in October and I don't have my final final piece in hand as yet. I have the right product here and then I have the right packaging which is empty so I just decided to use this today but I'll insert a picture of the actual product here and we do have an introductory offer going on because we just launched yesterday so make sure you grab that I'm leaving the information on the screen for you don't want to make it sound like an ad but obviously it's my brand so I had to put that out there let's move on to foundation wait instantly this is feeling both are feeling matte but this is feeling softer this side is feeling softer this side is feeling more matte as well so there's a lot of oil control here I am gonna say that for sure I still prefer this. Facts. Okay, so on the luxe side, the foundation I've chosen is the NARS foundation. This is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I wear this in the shade Barcelona. Yep. And I've been using this for a really long time. I restocked it a while ago and I really, really like it. I'm actually going to show you how absolutely just abused this packaging looks like. Like it just, it, it gets thrown around all the time. Travels with me. I really, really, really like it. A little does go a long way, but today we're doing a full coverage look, so I'm being generous with product. The NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation is really great for anyone that has combination or slightly oily skin type. I like to use this even though I have dry skin because I feel it holds on to the skin beautifully. And because we're in the festive season, I want nice long wearing foundations. I like that this gives that velvet matte finish that still feels like skin. I look so weird right now. <laughs> it settles, don't worry. Okay, now we're going to move on to the drugstore side. And if you guys did watch my 50 products under 1000 rupees video, you know my favorite favorite drugstore foundation of all time has been the L'Oreal True Match one. This is one of the OGs that I love, love, love. A little disclaimer before I go ahead and apply this is that the shade might not completely match this because it's a little bit deeper than my current skin tone, but we'll try and make it work as we go further with bronzer, concealer. We'll mishmash it in a way that hopefully it matches. What we're focusing on with the dupes today is formula more than anything else. And if I look a little bit messy in the process, then it is what it is. Keeping two separate brushes for the base, this this is from the NARS one and this verified brush number 05 is going in for the L'Oreal Paris one. As I'm blending this L'Oreal Paris foundation, I'm realizing that it's actually a lot lighter to the feel 
than the NARS counterpart. I feel like it has a little bit more liquid texture in it. It could be because it's also a relatively newer product in my vanity as compared to the NARS one. I've had the NARS one for a little bit longer in terms of the bottle itself. But my point is that I just feel like this is easier to blend. It's going on to the skin with almost no effort. Come to think of it, the shade is really not all that off. I think it can work. It's time to go in with concealer now and we're going to do the luxe side first. My favorite luxe concealer of late has been the Natasha Denona High Glam one. I feel like this concealer goes on super super easily it's not completely crease free but it comes pretty damn close and i wear the shade p4 in this product for the drugstore side i am using the hydrating concealer that has a satin finish from elf this one is really easy to work with doesn't dry my under eyes out at all and i won't say again that it's completely crease free but i do think that it's quite crease resistant and comes i would say decently close to the high glam concealer from natasha denona that we just tried on the other side Okay, I definitely feel like the Natasha Denona side definitely needed a lot less effort versus the e.l.f. one now that I'm comparing the two. Uh, but in terms of finish, they're looking quite similar to me. This one seems a tad lighter. So in the shade zone, I want to put that little disclaimer out there. Um, I also think I'm getting used to this. is the first time I'm using this different kind of a puff that's come out from PAC. I received it in PR a while ago. And uh, I realized I didn't mention the puff. So I should kind of do that also. On the drugstore side, I've used this new PAC one. And on the Lux side, I've used this sample that I have from Verified. You guys know the story already. I'm not going to get into it. Okay, I have really, really, really tried to look for a dupe for this Fenty banana powder, but there really wasn't one. There was one that came a little close, but it didn't quite perform in the same zone, so I decided not to include it in this video. Fenty mixed in with the Loose Paris Filter Airbrush Powder is what I'm going to quickly go ahead and set my under eyes with because I need to do that really quickly after I do my concealer. I've just applied some Lip Love Lip Oil because I realized how absolutely cracked my lips were looking on camera and feeling also on my face. Let's do brows next. I have two really interesting, where did it go? Dupes for you. Well, one really interesting dupe for the luxury version. Keeping two separate number 07 brushes for this, of course. Listen, no points for guessing. I'm about to go in with the Brow Pomade from Benefit. I love this product. I have sung so many praises about this product. It is so easy to work with that I love, love, love what it does to my brows. The trick to the pomade is that you need to start out with a very, very light hand, especially if it's the first time you're working with this texture. I did not like it the first time I worked with it, actually. And then after two or three attempts, I realized, oh, wait, this is actually fantastic. For the drugstore side, we're going to go ahead and use the e.l.f. brow gel. This is actually a gel you can use on your brows uh, as well as as your liner. I'm sorry, I have this in the shade number, sorry, espresso. There's no number. Okay, so as I started to work with the e.l.f. gel today, I realized it's a lot creamier than the Benefit one and a lot easier to work with actually. But as you can see towards the end of the process of working on this brow, it actually is too much of moving around as well because it's so creamy that the wax doesn't really give it as much of a push power on the benefit side. So I'm kind of leaning towards the benefit side in this particular scenario. While the cream makes it easier to work with, the wax part of the formula also holds it in place, holds the hair in place really, really easily and comfortably. I need to find a way to fix this because I do feel like the cream has moved around the brow. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but here it's staying literally within where I applied it. And here it's moved around um, once I started to use the spoolie, which is not cool. So use even lesser product of the e.l.f., I guess. Could be one lesson from this. I also feel like this held, took the shape really, really quickly of what I was trying to define for it to be. Whereas on the e.l.f. side, it is moving around. Again, because of how creamy it is. Maybe because of the cream factor again, or I'm not sure what, but this is also looking a lot more pigmented in person. Although I probably used lesser product there, to be honest, um, because I realized it was, you know, seeming more potent on the brow. Let's do the face and then go back to the eyes a little bit later because I have a feeling that's going to be a quick job. For the contour on the Luxe side, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Wands. These are supposed to be really, really fantastic and I have used them and liked them. But I want to give a disclaimer. One of these different sets of tubes, I don't know if it was this one. My God, what if it's this one? It started leaking water, a lot of water, tinted water before the product came out. This is when I opened it up. Um, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen today. Although this is looking so messy, I have a feeling it was this one. Can you see? 
it's just leaking water out and this has happened before with this exact product yeah oh that is not pretty i don't know if you can see it no 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 wait what can i do just gonna push out a lot more i know products gonna go waste but there's like a water situation collecting here otherwise this has happened off camera already when i opened it like i said mm, no i can't it's feeling disgusting like can you see the water that it's just like the water on the sides it's so bad i'm gonna waste a lot of product in this tissue and try to see if i can make this work this looks gross you guys this is a packaging issue and i haven't heard of anybody else having it so i'm gonna assume mine is the one-off Hopefully final attempt. Maybe I should do it like this so the water will stay down and the tint will come up. Okay, I think this was a good idea. Sorry about that gross uh, diversion for a second there. So I'm going to go back and use the same blender that we used on this side. The formula of this does feel really light and watery to apply and blend on the face. I don't know if it's because there is so much water. Clearly, base is everything we're experiencing. I need more product and I'm dreading this. I wish it was a little bit more pigmented in a sense that I wish I could see just more harder definition. I'm not saying it'll do the same job as a cream or a powder, but I do wish it had a little bit more pigment for me to be able to absolutely and only use this, which is certainly not the case in the way I'm looking at it on the screen right now. What do we feel about this? I feel like it's really nice, but it's also very, very natural. On this side, absolutely no points for guessing. ELF has the identical version of the product. I have not tried this as yet. This is in the shade Medium Tan. Let's hope this side does not give me problems. I'm not going to apply it where I applied the Charlotte Tilbury one. I'm going to go on the other side of my hand. Awesome. No water, even though it's upside down. This feels a little bit thicker instantly see that i'm saying is what i mean by pigment that is real pigment my god maybe i won't need any more product okay i took too much product i clearly went in thinking it was gonna be an exact exact dupe but this is much more pigmented at a much lesser price and uh, i have to say just as easy to blend i was not expecting that i will be very honest this has a little bit more of a dewyish finish this has a little bit of a semi dewy semi matte finish whichever way you would like to call it but there is more pigment here 100% i went in with too much product which i'm going to have to fix now i'm kind of happy though even then because the drugstore side is performing quite well and because this was a mess of course I'm glad it's not being repeated. Wiping off the rest of the product because we do not need it. <gasps> I didn't go into my jaw. It's okay, we'll do that with powder next. <laughs> my bad. Okay, so let's set this stuff in. Few repetition of brands as you might see, but we are going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I have this in the shade number two medium again we're keeping two separate number four brushes both dome brushes taking the clean one over here for charlotte tilbury little fallout but i don't mind fallout sometimes when you see fallout all it basically means is the powder is just so finely milled which is actually a good thing i know that all of us sometimes tend to think of fallout as the villain but it's actually not coming from the technical side of this now i can attest Oof, the powder is doing everything I wanted the cream to do. It's going on super, super beautifully. There is pigment and it's giving me a smooth, lovely finish, both on my cheekbones as well as my jaw. As I'm watching this, I'm realizing that maybe I should go a shade deeper in this product if I choose to use it on a regular basis because this is giving me a very, very natural finish, whereas where we are here is clearly a little bit more of a defined chiseled vibe. For the drugstore side, we have the Wearified Airbrush Powder in Ginger Tea. This is a beautiful bronzer, smoothens, blurs, gives you that lovely even finish and is kind of the perfect tube for the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. Okay, I have a little bit of a confession to make over here. I typically reach for Ginger Tea only on these naturalish days, which I'm trying to match over here because we're doing a dupes video. My usual contour chiseled vibe shade is Black Coffee from the range, not Ginger Tea. But with the e.l.f. one below where we use too much product and Ginger Tea on top, I feel like on screen it's looking a little bit muddy. I am going to find a solution to this a little bit later. We will get to it, I promise. Your girl has made one small boo-boo though, which is I went ahead with contour so high because I'm such a powder product user typically, whereas the blushes we have today are I have two cream options and I have two tint options. So I'm a little concerned. That is my fault. I apologize. 
this is completely on me one um dupes that i have over here again is charlotte tilbury and elf which i just want to kind of let you know but we're not going to use it today cuz clearly elf dupes for charlotte tilbury are doing their magic but i feel like we should opt for a couple of others instead so i'm thinking that on the tint side we should use benetton from benefit and then maybe use the beet tint from ilana on the drugstore side but like i said i made a mistake and put the powder too high because i'm my head is programmed to work with powder 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 so let's see how this happens i have a stinky feeling about it i'm going to need to find a way to fix it i anyway need to find a way to fix this too much elf situation that has happened in the lower layer but let's do it and find out what happens i'm nervous and not gonna lie I'm also just organically not a very tint girl which is my problem. Okay. That actually didn't give us any problem, but you can barely see it. I'm going to be bold enough hopefully and build it a little bit more. I'm organically a powder girl. Sometimes I'm a cream with powder to lock it in kind of girl. Um the only times I find myself reaching for tints are on very very by the way it is but this is going on really nice and considering we applied powder somewhere over there i'm impressed maybe i should become a tint girl <laughs> so it's not as hard on the tint on the cheeks as i typically like but i do think that it looks nice and natural no i used this finger for benefit so i'm going to use this finger for the beet tint from ilana going to take a very very little If this is a roll on by the way i'm taking very very little praying to god that this works on this side as well okay quite pigmented also to the touch feels more creamish than the watery counterpart of benefit but really really nice shade the mess of the elf situation underneath will it hide will it not hide i just feel like the cream is giving it that defined line here which i'm not liking but that is my problem with creams in general i feel like they're so not forgiving which powders are i find powders more forgiving they're so much easier to work with for beginners for pros for me specifically i'm going to say based on my experience i'm not loving this trip let's just say that find a way to fix it we will find we will find we will find a way to fix it let's go to eyes i need to distract myself from this blotchy situation i have wait i want to throw this cuz this is just lingering around over here where's the cover never mind just to know just tossed the conto in the bin that hurt a little bit but it is what it is ye reh gaya dhakkan Okay like I said I need to distract myself from this and go on to the eyes. I have not one but two options for you to use in dupes. There's some contour that has gone on this. Going to wipe it down. So, it might seem like I'm trying to dupe a lot of the Charlotte products, but I love a lot of the Charlotte products and so I want to try and find dupes for you. This is the Pillow Talk palette from uh Charlotte Tilbury. This is in Pillow Talk color coded eyeshadows. There's no other name. It just says Pillow Talk. And um it's a beautiful palette. Their formula is absolutely amazing. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. I have not one, but two dupes to show you, and I have a feeling I know which one I'm going to land up using today. But I wanted to show you both, nevertheless. One is this Nykaa one. This is the Birthday Bash palette from their quad sets, and this over here is a NYX palette that you guys have known and seen me love for so so long. This is the Warm Rust palette, and there's a lot over here to choose from. Clearly, drugstore is stepping it up like no other time in the past, and um, I feel like today I'm going to use the Nykaa palette because it has a few similar tones and. because they're both quads um the price difference is so out there that we must do this i want to add a little twist over here and try to use just one or one or two shades from both these quads i also feel like in terms of similar similar tones there are three out of four that are truly similar the purplish tone over here does not go with the charlotte tilbury palette but i want to try and just get the job done in one or two shades. Okay, so the Charlotte Tilbury palette even though I just took one dip of that pigment with brush number 08, it went on so smoothly. There was no patchiness. It was really easy to work with. There was pigment in there. There was fallout, you know, I don't mind fallout, but it just felt rich even while I was applying the product. The Nykaa one while being a bang for its buck comparatively definitely felt a little bit 
patchy. I had to go in and dip my brush into the pan a couple of times. And was, like I said, again, worth the money considering the price tag, but just felt cheap compared to the Charlotte Tilbury palette because we're pitching them side to side. I feel guilty pitching them side to side in this moment, but I'm like, that's the whole process of trying to find dupes at the end of the day. So while they work from a general utilitarian point of view with the formula, the Charlotte one just, it's so much richer. I wonder if Elf is duped to this. I'm going to do a little more research after this video. The colors are similar. They're not the same. So I want to mention that as well. Taking two brush number 10s for the inner corner pop. Coming to the shiny layer, the one from Charlotte Tilbury had micro pearls, but it also had flakes that definitely added dimension to the overall makeup look. The Nika one, I have to say, I always love to use because the shimmer is such good quality. It has a really nice ease in terms of application and blending and uh, just really great for the price tag. We're clearly obviously in two different zones when it comes to the colors, but this is what my eyes look like right now. I wanted to film another video after this, which I clearly can't. <laughs> the flakes are just looking so good in like in person. They just pop almost. I think this has settled a little bit also over time. What do you think? I feel like it's not as muddy as it was a little while ago. Okay, I did initially want to apply eyeliner on this overall look, but I feel like you have seen me talked about these two products enough times. So I'm just going to give them a little shout out over here and not apply it. Um, but they're eyeliners, so I don't think we're missing like much. I just want the look to be a little bit more focused on all the natural but festive, but just smoothness going all around on the face. I have the Hindash one over here for the luxury side, which has gone on to become one of my favorite eyeliners of late. The felt tip is so, so beautiful. And I feel like it's super nice to work with. Very, very easy to work with. On the other side, we have the tattoo liner from Maybelline. Again, the felt tip is super, Super nice and sharp, making it very easy to use. Both of these are jet black, which I love about them. It's just that since the zone of this look has changed a little bit, I'm calling them out, but we won't use them today. But you've seen me use them otherwise. Let's do a mascara. You know how much I love the Dark Star Mascara from Pat McGrath. It's expensive in India. It is a really, really good mascara. Is it worth the coin or not? I go back and forth when it comes to super luxurious items like this. Um, the wand is a nice, big, chunky one that really adds volume and dimension to your lashes as you're applying them. And it holds really beautifully as well. Oof, I love what this does to my lashes. It's just something else. Gonna wipe out any excess product that's still sitting there and then apply the lower lash line. Be a little bit careful on the lower lash line because the wand is so big, you could get a little smidge. Mm, I love this mascara so much. Just like fans out my eyes, like just, I love what it does. On the other side, we have a mascara that comes closest to Dark Star, according to me, because it has a similar wand and it gives you a fairly similar look and of course saves you a lot of coin. I'm talking about the Big Mood Mascara from e.l.f. Let's go ahead and apply this. It has really great hold as well and I feel like it just gives my eyes that little bit of a oomph that my lashes definitely need. This one is even bigger so be even more careful on your lower lashes. I feel like the main difference between these two is that this leaves every lash to be like individual whereas this does cluster some of them up which could make it look either uh, lumpy clumpy or it could look like volume. So it really depends on how you've applied it. I think what we really have left now is the lips and highlighter. Let's do highlighter and then we'll go to the lips. For the luxe side, I've got the Glowgasm palette. This has four really, really beautiful shades today. I think I'm going to opt for this yellow toned one, which is really, really beautiful. It has a bronzy one, a pink one, a rose gold one, and then a proper yellow tone one. Gonna get a clean brush. Whew. That's a lot of shine really easily. It's making me go highlighter happy, which I don't go too often, to be honest. It's a stunning, stunning formula. Let's also apply just a little over here. This formula is super easy to work with, as you just saw. Pause your video here and tell me what you think the dupe for this is gonna be. I'm going to wait or pause the video, go drop that comment. I'm going to go through the comments and see how many of you got this right because it's a good one. 
the dupe we have for the Charlotte Tilbury Glogasm palette is Verified's Citrine. So I could have duped it with a Morganite, which is, you know, pink, rose gold. I could have duped it with Topaz, which is a more natural tone. Today, I'm going to dupe it with Citrine for that beautiful yellow gold shade. Taking a clean brush number two. And we're going to apply it at the same places. Mm. <laughs> Some days I can't believe this is my product. It gives you just as much shine. In fact, if not more, because I did pick up more product. I wanted to make sure they match. You can go softer if you want to. You can go more ham if you want to. It just, it blends really, really easily. And I'm just going to touch in a little bit and go here like we did on the other side. So you've got like some shine here and you got shine here too. <laughs> Wiped off the Lip Love Lip Oil and now we're going to go ahead on the last step of this entire dupe process. It's time for the lips. We're going to pitch two liquid lipsticks against each other and see how you find them. I love this formula from NARS. This is a really, really beautiful liquid lipstick formula. This is in the shade Star Woman and it's a really stunning red. My God, do I look weird in this moment. On the other side, I don't think you should get any points for guessing because this is a no-brainer. We're going to go ahead and apply Red Velvet Cupcake from Verified's Lip Frosting Liquid Lipstick Collection. What I love about both of these lipsticks that they have in common is that they come with really nice pointed applicators that make the application super super easy and even if you choose to skip the lip liner your work will get done on some days especially in moments like this i can't believe i have my own beauty brand and i have those pinch me moments so so often i can't believe we won the l beauty awards earlier this year for our star product our airbrush powder and on days when i apply products side by side and i see that my lipstick formula has such a similar finish to the nas one it almost inspires me in a weird strange way that makes me feel like i can conquer the world because if i could come this far i feel like it just gives me hope for so much more so i'm sorry for taking a little bit of a emotional second to process this in but I love how close these two are in formula they're both beautiful red tones and just overall it makes me feel like a proud mama I just have to say and with that, we come to the end of today's video. I really, really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this one. It is part of the Vlogmas series, so don't forget to participate in the giveaway as well. There are giveaways in every single Vlogmas upload. I really hope you'll keep those comments coming down below. You know I love reading, liking, hearting, and responding to each and every one of them. Those video requests for 2024, I'm taking them very much. I hope you have the best December, best festive season, best Christmas, New Year's Eve, and the best 2024 ahead of you. I love you very much. I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.